Exercise 11, let's open an object display of the library. In the previous tutorials I told you that uh, if you have to create a basic, uh, simple uh, object display, you don't have uh, to know uh, script. But for more complex ones, uh, you have to dirty your hands, let's say, and uh, use uh, JavaScript. Uh, a good way to learn JavaScript is uh, open existing ones, because uh, except uh, the object display that are uh, uh, just an image, all others have uh, um, at least a few uh, script lines inside. So let's have a look to some of them. We can start from this. We didn't use it uh, in the exercise, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's the flow2. This is a widget where uh, if uh, the variable that you indicate uh, is true, you will see these four arrows uh, cyclically, one after the other. It is here in the Karel uh, Boolean. Now we can start from uh, some one of these uh, cool status. So library, Karel, object display, Boolean. Okay, cool status, this one. It's very simple, it has only three parameters, yes, the base, the variable that uh, you can use to change the color of, uh, of the image, the snowflake, the snowflake, so you can indicate the two colors. Here is the substitute that we used in the previous exercise. Close and open the script. Here are few, few lines. So this uh, creates variables and reads the values uh, that have been indicated uh, in the corresponding parameter. And uh, so if the variable is true, change the color to, to the color uh, on. While if it is false, uh, set the, the color to the color of. A few lines, uh, quite uh, simple to uh, understand how they work. So open, uh, I was uh, talking about uh, the flow 2, is uh, this one. So the parameters, uh, also in this case uh, only few. So the variable that drives, uh, that um, start the animation, fill color, border color, the script. Also this one is quite simple. Set visible, we use this uh, in the exercise uh, five or six, not remember. So it hide all four arrows and then create a timer. So every tick of the timer, it set visible. So hide the previous arrow and make visible the current arrow and cyclically. Okay, I don't want to go in details with this. Later I will open the help and we will see this uh, system function. But before I open some other one, next one was uh, the thermometer with scale. Uh, not this was this one. The parameters, okay, we already know them. Base, minimum, maximum, fill color, uh, alarm threshold, alarm color. Uh, here, also here is used the substitute, you see. Script. Okay, this is a little bit more complicated. Uh, like uh, before, we create uh, variables uh, that read uh, the, the values of the variables that are indicated in the uh, attribute window and uh, set text, so write uh, in the text the minimum and the maximum, okay, change the color according to the bar color, and um, scale x, scale y, sorry, uh, change the, uh, the height of uh, the widget according to the minimum, maximum and so on. And this one change the color of the needle basically and around the, the round circle according if it is reached or not the threshold. Set fill, okay, we saw also earlier. Close the last, last was the read write. 
the special, no special, the number, very bright this, very bright variable, is this. So normally it shows only the value of the variable. When you click, appear a slider. You can use it to, to change, plus, minus, change, save. There is, there is also timeout for which if you don't save within a time, okay, the object goes away. So this is the source file of the widget. You see a lot of basic Script, no, for the script is the parameters. Okay, a lot of this time. Also here, again, the substitute and the script. Okay, now the things became a little bit harder. Okay, this is really quite a complicated widget, object display, sorry. So reads the parameter, um, I don't want to go too much in detail, but uh, you see that uh, almost all use the set text and the visible, almost all. Change the opacity. So for a complex widget, uh, you have to learn uh, at least a little uh, of JavaScript. So if you want to learn uh, this language, one of the best uh, website is the WP Schools that we saw also in the other exercise, this one. Now we can open the help and uh, search for uh, these uh, functions. Help and uh, there should be this one, client, browser, side, script reference. If you want, you can search. You can also search here. If you remember the name, set visible. Okay, it brings, it brings there. So, uh, we were looking at the graphical. So far we saw this, uh, the set of visible, to change the visibility. We, we saw several times the set of field, to change the color of an uh, SVG element. We also saw the set of move in one of the widgets, okay, rotation and others. Many times we saw this uh, one, the data subscriber. So somehow it reads uh, the variable that we indicate. So the message is uh, here in the manual you see the documentation of all uh, the system function that uh, you can find in the existing uh, object display or you can use in uh, your own uh, object display. Okay, that's all for this uh, um, tutorial where we just have a look to some of the widget of the library, of the current library, and have a look to the content inside. For more detail on JavaScript, you can refer to this website.